How much of a catalyst could Navalny's death be, the funding crisis in the United States, be for Europe? How quickly can Europe act now to up the ante in terms of its approach? Well, Guy, I was also at the Munich Security Conference, and High Representative Borrell was pleading to actually get Europe organized its defense industrial base, because this is what is stopping supplies to Ukraine. He was suggesting possibly in the new commission to have a defense uh, a defense sector commissioner, like we have trade commissioner. So uh, this is something very important. But the fundamentals is that it was Washington and Berlin that were limiting armament supply to Ukraine by its range, don't attack Russian territory, by its uh, variety and, and uh, scale. So we have to stop that uh, kind of half-hearted support. You, it is clear, and Russian opposition itself says, the only way to topple Putin regime in a way Way and to free Russian people from the kind of repressive state they have is for a decisive Russia's defeat on the territory of Ukraine. And that includes actually Crimea, because this is where Putin started this war. So let's see if this death shakes up enough people to actually not only sit on the resources, because they are there, but to command these resources and enable Ukraine to have another push uh, in 2025 and to defend as much as he can in 2024. Mm. Arisia, are we in danger of a, a sort of negative feedback loop here where Ukraine struggles on the battlefield and so the West feels less willing to, to lend money for the purpose and yet that means that then Ukraine struggles even more on the battlefield? How much is Russia's performance in the driving seat here? I think this is exactly what Putin wants. Let's remember, he's the operative in the Kremlin. He wants us to believe in his worldview, to accept his narrative. And I actually disagree that Avdiivka is a strategic defeat, as the, your correspondent said before. It is a lost battle, but it's not a lost war. And this is, again, what many uh, generals, admirals in uh, Munich were saying. This war is winnable. Ukraine has proven if it is given the right resources and kits, it can actually defeat Russians on its territory. But yes, you're right, it's a dangerous moment and we shouldn't be buying into Putin's assessment of the trajectory of war because we do know that with capabilities, with proper training, Ukrainians remain very resolute. Yes, they are wounded, they are bitter, they are tired, but they understand the nature of the beast in the Kremlin and that it cannot negotiate its way out of this war. If Putin rolls forward, he will be killing the people like he killed Navalny en masse. And we already see, you know, sexually based violence, rape. UN reports that 70, I mean, I believe 80 percent of Ukrainian prisoners of war are tortured in Russia. This is pure evil that, you know, it's, it's uh, destruction at the mass scale. This is the system that Putin uh, presides over.